I am Chris Gioni with the City of Morgan Hill and today I'm going to be explaining how to use the MOGO Quick Ride service here in Morgan Hill. MOGO is a new transportation service we have available for uh, residents and visitors here in Morgan Hill and it is a service that can get you pretty much anywhere in the city from a location in the city. It is an app based service. However, MOGO is a little bit different than ride sharing service, cab services that you would typically see. The big difference is instead of being a door-to-door -door service where you get picked up at your front door and dropped off in an exact location, MOGO has virtual stops through the whole city. And you have to be at one of those stops or walk to one of those stops to get in the MOGO um, van to be taken to another virtual stop somewhere else in the city. And that may sound like it's difficult, but it really isn't because there's virtual stops within a five minute walk of anywhere in the entire city. So the first thing you need to do to start using the MOGO um, Quick Ride service here in Morgan Hill is to download the MOGO app. It's available in the Apple or Android stores and you download it for free and you set up an account um, to be able to book your rides, pay for your rides and do those sort of things. So once you've downloaded the app, you're pretty much ready to go and we're gonna talk through using the app right now. So I'm gonna pull up MOGO on my phone and I'm using an iPhone, but like I said, you can be using an Android. And it's gonna pop up with a screen that has a information on your destination that you wanna to go to and where you're gonna be picked up from, um, as well as a little bit of other information on timing and a map that you'll see on the screen. Now, right now, I am at the Civic Center in the city of Morgan Hill near City Hall, and I'm gonna choose that as my pickup address. Um, I can choose that address by typing in an address that I'm located at, um, clicking on a map, or selecting my current location. So I'm gonna click on current location, and that is gonna populate that field. Now we're gonna talk about where I'm getting dropped off at. I'm gonna, I'm gonna visit the railroad park today, so I'm gonna choose a drop-off location, click on the drop-off location, and I could either enter an address here or a prominent location. So in this case, I am typing in Railroad Park. Railroad Park, Depot Street, Morgan Hill, California, selecting that. And it has now populated the drop-off location. The next um, field that I have to choose is the amount of riders that I'm gonna be booking this ride for. I'm gonna be booking this ride for myself, my good friend Sergio, who's doing the filming today. Um, and in this screen, I'll also have a lot of other options that I can choose. If I have a bicycle with me, you're able to take a bike on MOGO. I would select that I have a bicycle. If I need the accessible um, MOGO van, I would no note the number of accessible rides that are needed. If I am a youth or a child, or I have a, um, I'm eligible for a discounted fare, I can also select those options. Don't have those going right now, so I'm just clicking OK and moving forward. And um, next, the next thing I need to fill in is the time that I want to be uh, picked up or will be available to pick up. So I'm clicking on the time symbol right here and I'm gonna choose my time. I'm gonna choose a time that is basically right now. So I'm choosing uh, 2.25 p.m., it's 2.24, clicking accept. And I am choosing the day, which is today. You can book your rides in advance. So if you wanted to book a ride the next day and plan ahead, you can do that. So now I'm clicking the um, Find Rides button and MOGO is gonna search for available rides for me. So searching and it has come up with um, three options for me to ride. The first one, all right, um, they're showing where we're getting picked up from. It's showing I'm gonna get picked up near uh, 17575 Peak Avenue, which is here near the Civic Center, and get dropped off near the Morgan Hill Caltrain Station, which is right near the railroad park. Um, you, you'll see on the screen that I'm looking at that it is $5 per ride. That's because there's two passengers. It's $2.50 per passenger. And it's gonna show me um, what time I will be picked up at from the place I'm leaving from. So it's giving me a pickup window in this first ride between 2.30 and 2.40 p.m. So when I see that, I have to know that I'm gonna be at the pickup point by 2.30. So right now, that gives me the ability to know that I have five minutes to walk to 
my pickup point. If that wasn't enough time, I would choose the next ride, which isn't a pickup till 2.55 um, p.m., which is a little bit later, would give me more time. So you choose the, the time. And then just to the right of the pickup time or the pickup window, it shows you the arrival time. And my first option says I'd be arriving by at least 2.50 p.m. or earlier. Second option, 3.15 p.m. or earlier. So I can guarantee and know or know that I'll be guaranteed to be uh, dropped off at my destination by that time. So I'm gonna choose this first option. And now I'm um, showing that I'm gonna be picked up, confirming that I'm gonna be picked up near 175 Peak Avenue and dropped off near the Morgan Hill Cal train station. And I'm now clicking okay to book my ride and it's looking to book my ride. And it is showing that my ride is um, ready to be booked. I already have my credit card put in the system. If you haven't put that in, you can also choose to pay cash and book on the app and then pay the driver cash. I am gonna pay this fare and complete the booking of the ride. Okay, so my ride is booked. The app is now telling me the ride is booked and that I will be picked up between 2.35 and 2.45 um, right now. Um, once you are in this section, you can view your rides from the app um, that you have booked. Maybe you've booked a ride today and tomorrow. Both of them would show up in there. And it's now um, showing this ride that I've booked on in the app. And I can click on view details and get details on my ride. So it showed me where I'm picked up. So one of the things that I have just received is also a text message from Mogo. If I open this te text message, it is showing me that my pickup location has now been finalized. So you don't get the exact pickup location when you book the ride, it's provided to you shortly after. That pickup location is now available um, to me via text, which I can click on a map and look at. It's also now available in the app, Mogo app to show you the pickup location. So one of the things in the app that's interesting, it will give you information on the driver that's coming to pick you up and where that driver is located. So on the screen right now, you can actually see um, where um, I'm at and you can actually see where my driver is at. The driver coming to pick me up is Diego and he will be coming in a Dodge Caravan. Um, gives me the plates and all that information. Now it's time for me to walk over to where my ride is at. Every bus stop in Morgan Hill has a stop for MoGo. You see this one has a sign up there. Not all the stops have signs, but there'll be signs in many locations and not all the stops are at bus stops. There's many throughout the city. So I've walked over here. I'm now looking at the app and you can see on my phone that my driver is on the way here. And I also have an estimated time that he's gonna be here um, at about, in about one minute. So he's gonna be coming around the corner any second. It's really important when you're working with Mogo is you've gotta be at the stop before they get here. Cause once they get here, they, um, they're only gonna wait for you for a minute. Well, let's go see, this is our ride. We're gonna catch it and uh, get going to our next location. As we head towards our destination, one of the other things to remember is I'm not gonna get dropped off at the exact location I put in. I'm gonna get dropped off at the nearest virtual stop. So when I get dropped off at that virtual stop, I'm gonna then have to walk to my location, which may take a minute or two. So as you're planning your uh, trip, you wanna think about that. Um, it is also important to note that you may be sharing a Mogo van with someone else. If you're going to a destination that's near where someone else is going, they, you may get picked up and another person might get picked up and then you'll be riding together for a period of time. The other important exception um, to note is uh, Mogo does provide an accessible service for people in a wheelchair and we have a van dedicated to providing that service. There is the ability to be dropped off at a very specific, picked up and dropped off at a very specific location. So that is something that we, we do offer um, with Mogo. All right, I've taken Mogo to near downtown. We're actually at the Morgan Hill Caltrain station where there is a bus stop. So I'm dropped off at one of the bus stops here. If you'll remember, I booked the ride to Railroad Park. So I'm not exactly at Railroad Park, but Railroad Park's just a short walk over there. So I'm leaving my destination. I'm leaving my uh, pickup location. I'm gonna walk to my destination, which is Railroad Park. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm in the Mogo app and I am seeing that um, I get to rate my last ride um, that I uh, received from Mogo and I can uh, choose how many stars I wanna give, provide more feedback, that sort of thing. It was a great ride. 
Five stars, not gonna leave a comment right now, and I'm submitting my feedback, and that is uh, closing out my MOGO ride for today. All right, making it just a four, short four minute walk from my uh, drop off location at the uh, Caltrain station, dropped off by MOGO, and here, making it over to my destination here at Railroad Park. And I'm here at the park, made it from uh, the Civic Center to downtown Morgan Hill Railroad Park. And uh, that's it for today. That's how you ride MOGO. Hope you guys uh, enjoy and use the service.